Hello and welcome to this, the second part in our two-part series of mental health. Let's talk about it. As you know, May is actually Mental Health Awareness Month, but we don't just want to be talking about mental illness in the month of May and then forget it. How many times you have seen somebody who you know definitely that something is not quite right, but when you speak to them, they actually say that they're okay. The truth is, as human beings, we are so accustomed, we are so, become so, so much of an expert at hiding our emotions that we actually convince ourselves that we are okay. The truth is that most people who actually have a mental health problem don't know about it. Because if your arm is broken, you see a doctor. If your tooth hurts, you see a dentist. If your eyes is giving you a problem, you know exactly to see the optician. But when it comes on to the brain, because we are not able to touch it, then of course we don't even know that something is wrong. So we could be going for long periods, feeling empty, feeling sad, and yet we don't do anything about it. Our brain is likened to the CPU of a computer. And you know that if something is wrong with the CPU, the computer cannot work. It is the same thing with the brain. If something is wrong with the brain, it will affect the rest of the body. That is why if we have been feeling sad, if you have been going through long periods of feeling just empty, it is time to do something about it. The truth is that we are not able to sometimes detect what is happening. That is why correct diagnosis is important. So if you see your doctor, then of course, they will be able to say exactly what is wrong. And we know that with correct diagnosis, then of course, the best solution will be found based on what's happening. Most mental health problems stem from a specific event. The doctor, the counselor, they are trained to help you to come up with solutions when they, when they give the diagnosis. So mental health problem, illnesses, sometimes, you know, when you have one, if left untreated, then of course, we try to find the solutions ourselves and it just makes this situation worse. So you will have bipolar, you have eating disorders, anxiety disorder, depression, alcohol dependency. They are treatable, but the only thing that you need to do is to go see the professionals. You need to talk about it. And when you're talking about it, remember that acknowledging that there's a problem, it is the first step to finding a solution. If you know somebody who is going through this kind of problem, going through any kind of problem, as a matter of fact, it is always better to speak, but I know that you cannot force somebody to do what they don't want to do. But what I really want to drive home is that any problem, any concern that is affecting the way you think, the way you feel, and the way you act, if left untreated, then of course it becomes worse. Remember, it is okay not to be okay. The first step is acknowledging that there is a problem. The second step is to find a solution. And of course, the, prop, the answer is not always with yourself. Thank you for watching this video.